every circus needs a sideshow. This is our sideshow. Saturday, June 8th, I think. I don't know, June. And I'm planting my last field of corn, uh, the 60 acre piece. I ran the strip freshener over it yesterday uh, and just let it sit and dry out. We've actually had some pretty good weather for planting conditions. Uh, for drying anyways, uh, there was a good breeze yesterday and some warm weather. Today is a good breeze and warm weather again, so uh, this is actually planting fairly nice. Uh, not still ideal, but nice for uh, 2019 and the fact that it's June. We got corn that's, as I said, three leaf. We got corn that's one leaf. We got corn that's emerging. We have corn that is going to be out of the ground in a couple days. We've got corn going in the ground. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to watch uh, how all this progresses. But uh, as I said, feeling pretty fortunate we have as much in as we do. Knowing that there's a lot out there that don't have uh, nearly as much as us planted. So uh, we take that as a win. Well, it's coming up to the headland here. We're going to have to turn. Shouldn't be too bad. The nice part about this planter setup is with the V drives and the swath control. Uh, each row unit shuts off as it comes into the planted area, so we uh, save seed that way. And then, as I probably said before, uh, our Larry card has section control as well, so it shuts off. Uh, it has four sections. So it also shuts off as it's coming into the area that's been applied already. So uh, small stuff like that helps us not spend as much money, which is good, especially this year because we're going to need every frickin' cent we can find. Sandy's doing hay. I sprayed a whole bunch the other day. Finished up the one field of beans that I wanted to get planted. So we got 200 acres of beans planted. All the chemical, IP chemical or pre pre-emergent IP chemical is on. I sprayed some burn down on some other fields, but they're still pretty wet. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do after this, but uh, this will take me to about mid-afternoon probably, because it's well, 12.30 now, so we'll probably get wrapped up around three o'clock. Then I'll go see how the crew's making it with, uh, hey, the dreaded H word, hey. Just an update here on the corn planting situation. Down to one more pass left. It's disappointing because with these conditions I would have liked to maybe plant that other 89 acres, but I just not comfortable pushing heat units if I had more corn to plant. Uh, I maybe would plant tomorrow too, but because we got 500 acres of 589 in, I'm going to call that good. And uh, kind of just accept what Mother Nature has given us and uh, focus on some other stuff. Because uh, Lord knows we still got lots to do as I lower the planter for the last pass. Uh, I just hope uh, nothing goes wrong in the next uh, I don't know, 1,500 feet, but uh, we'll get folded up and go home and see how they're making out with hay. They're struggling. Uh, the hay is a little wet yet. Uh, we blow it into forage wagons and uh, Sandy was breaking shear bolts in the forage wagons because it almost seemed like it was working too hard and it was too heavy to uh, unload so I'll get this folded up headed home I'll make sure they're in good shape and things are going okay there and uh, I'll see what I can what trouble I can get into I might try to plant some soybeans 
really like to do some spraying it's just a tad on the windy side so I'm not sure if it's going to die down a bit tonight or not but uh, I think I'll just uh, risk plant some beans and uh, hope that I can get that chemical on uh, before the rain on Monday. But. I am going to do a review on the Alari cart. Uh, I'm going to get through side dressing first. So we got to actually take the planter off the back and switch the uh, coulters around and uh, set up for fertilizer. I'll, I'll get into that in more detail. But kind of once I get through the season, uh, between side dressing now and that uh, planting done, I'll, I'll maybe kind of go over it with you in a video and just kind of give some pros and cons about the system and how it worked out for us. We hate hay. I hate hay. Sandy hates hay. But she likes her sheep. So we have to grow a little bit of hay to keep the sheepies happy. We're using a friend's harvester. Uh, we have two that are both busted right now and I didn't really have time to get them going. We have five, uh, no, four forage wagons going, two of which work. Uh, we keep busting stuff on them. I think the hay is just a little heavy and wet, but it looks like things are going good now, so I'm going to uh, head out with the air seeder and try to put in some soybeans. They're going to work at hay. Sunday morning, June 9th, my dad's birthday. And like a good dad, he's bailing us out. Uh, he's actually out rolling some beans that uh, I got planted there back on the 4th of June, trying to get them done before hopefully they come out of the ground. You can roll beans that they're, when they're emerged. We just, I don't know, we don't like to. Um, some guys do, some guys don't. I think it's whatever you choose to do. All the power to you. We just try to get them done before they come up. So he's doing that. Whether he can catch up to me or not, I don't know. He's got uh, well, he have 300 acres of beans to roll. I got this farm sprayed last night. I kind of planted a tank load of seeds, uh, 30 acres, and then came out and sprayed this last night. And then refilled and then went and got some sleep. I was pooped. But Sandy, Jack, and Belinda are working at hay. Uh, they're back at this morning, hopefully to finish that up before the rain tonight. Uh, and uh, I went out this morning and sprayed off our last burn down on soybeans. We'll see what happens with this rain, uh, whether we get as much as they call for, I don't know. Uh, but at the end of it, uh, we still got lots of work to do. But uh, it's dried off a fair bit, you can see the dust back there. Uh, there's still tough spots like right I'm going right through a spot here now you can see the lug marks uh, right there uh, but I don't know what you do it's one of those things where uh, conditions aren't always ideal and it probably won't rain so we'll see this in all year but when 90% of the field is good I think we just gotta roll
Whew. It's warm out, it's beauty. Uh, I think it's supposed to feel like 29 today with humidity. With the, with the humidity. So 29 with the humidity. Anyways, uh, that fills the drill up. And my wonderful mom just stopped by with lunch for the crew. So I'm gonna grab some lunch and uh, head back out. And this fill should finish that farm over there. Uh, and then I'm gonna kind of see where to from there, whether there's another field I can do or we might make strips Excuse me. for uh, edible beans uh, before the rain here. Uh, so anyways, I'm eating.